About a week or so back, someone asked me about taking the screen off of a Galaxy S5 without damaging the AMOLED. And it is not as easy as I would like it to be, but it's definitely not that difficult as long as you have some patience, heat, and the right technique. So while I can't always make a tutorial to specifically answer someone's question, it just so happens that I'm training technicians currently on doing the Galaxy S5 screen removal. So this is live footage from the training that we did last week. And unfortunately, I thought I had the camera set up on fixed focus and I did not, it's on autofocus. So it will go out of focus occasionally, but I am confident that you'll get 100% of the information that you need from this video in order to duplicate this type of technique. On top of that, I did not have my microphone with me. So this is the audio from the phone's microphone. So it's not really that great, but hopefully you can hear clearly what I'm saying. And this is the totally unedited version of a Galaxy S5 that has never been opened up before and we're going to take off the screen without breaking it. The screen is working properly so I'll unlock it. We'll go in here you can see everything's working here. Got our notifications from the bottom. Um, back button everything else is working right. So we'll power this down. And while that's turning off I'm just going to go ahead and remove the back panel. Take out the battery, and of course, if you have a SIM card or micro SD card, those need to come out also. Why is this thing keep tipping like that? I hate that. Okay, now from here, we'll come back to this later. You can. Uh, I need a pry tool. Shoot. So you can use your fingernail, obviously, or whatever. But if you hit this with some heat, there's a small amount of adhesive under this little panel right here. So I'll warm that up under here and we should be able to lift this just like that whoa went flying there's that I'm not going to disconnect this yet until I'm actually pulling the screen off because if I disconnect this and it's flopping around it's easy to kind of snag it as you're working on this and what this is going to require is basically just heating around the edges until we can get the playing card on the inside so whoops, there are my cards bad place for them so I'm going to warm this up <coughs> Again, until it's, you know, somewhat warm to the touch, not burning up or anything like that. And then in order, oh, you know what I totally forgot is here's what I want to do. Is I want to make sure that I don't get the flex cable on the top. So I'm going to actually put tape to physically block myself so I make sure I don't mess it up. So if I go from here, I'm going to go all the way around. Pretty much going to go just above or just right about even with this. And I'm gonna put this tape and go ahead and tape it around the back for now. And then the other thing I have to worry about is this cable right here. So my method for tracking that is gonna be take a small piece of tape. And then if you wanna know exactly where that is on the opposite side, can you hand me the plastic tweezers over there real quick? Thanks. So if you wanna know where something is on the opposite side of the screen, if you go like this and flip it over, we know exactly where the button is, right? So the button is gonna be right here. And we've got quite a bit of room to work around that, but it's mainly gonna be right in the center here. Okay, so now we know where that is. We also have to worry about those two pieces at the bottom. So when we pry in, we're only gonna go the distance of what this edge is right across the bottom here. So from here, <clears throat> so you see that thing at the top is gonna to physically stop me from prying in the wrong area. You can use masking tape or whatever else you want to, or you know, if you get used to it at a certain point, you won't need any more. Now the problem is going to be getting this card started. It's not going to want to go in because it's sealed up pretty well. So I'll do the same thing I did on the other and that is just kind of get underneath it with the razor blade very gently. And then once it lifts up, we should be able to kind of get the card to go in. And again, we don't want to go beyond that white line, right? So I'm going to do is just very slowly go from here, stop there, come down the side, and then work around the edge. And if we want to, and what will happen with this glue is it'll start sticking to itself. So I'm gonna use more than one card. I'm gonna put this one in right to here, just as kind of a placeholder, so that doesn't stick to itself again. Okay, and then I'm gonna to continue to kind of work around this edge, and we'll hit the top in a minute also. But I wanna make sure that this stuff over here is nice and free, like so. Go right around the edge here, just barely inside. I'm trying to keep this visible. 
We'll do the same thing over here. Just go around the edge. And again, don't go too far. We're just slicing through that outer adhesive, that, that one that you put on after the fact. So I want to make sure that's nice and loose. And again, I'm going to kind of limit how far I'm going here. You just go, after you go up and down a few times, you'll feel it's like it tears away on the inside. And then it's not as sticky. Just want to make sure not to go too far because you can dig in between the glass and the amulet. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to insert this card right here. And then we'll go start on the top. And here we want to be very careful because that cable almost comes all the way up to the top there. So I don't go very deep with this one. I'm just going to come in and again to get it started you may have to go underneath it with the blade and just kind of very slightly lift it up. See glass has very small amount of flexibility and once we get the corner in like that we can kind of work across this way and you obviously you won't be able to cut through the earpiece because that's going to kind of be in your way. And I'm only going to go down to about right here I don't want to even come close to that tape because it's so easy to damage those cables that are on the inside. So, we'll go over here. I'm gonna go part ways in like this. So probably to about right here. And at this point, usually if we apply some more heat um, it may be possible to start lifting the screen, but as you can see, what's going to be in the way is this tape. So obviously I have to take the tape off first. So here's what we'll do. We'll go ahead and untape this like so. And if it starts lifting up, that's fine. And if it doesn't, that's okay because we still can work on the bottom a little bit. And again, make sure that you keep this nice and warm. And you'll notice if you get these cards really warm, they start to bend. So I try to avoid the cards getting hot. And if you want to work around the cards, you can always shield them with something. So you're only heating the area that you want to work on and not the card itself. You can do the same over here. But for the most part, this is going to do a lot of our work for us. And I'm crossing my fingers that this will work. You can hear it's kind of starting to lift up here on this end. We'll make sure to go through this again so that this is nice and free along the edge. Once you free this adhesive on the edge, it's, it's a lot. I know I'm kind of blocking with my hand right now. I'm not doing that intentionally, but I have to hold on to this for a moment. Okay, so we should do that. Now we'll warm this up at the bottom because this is going to start sticking to itself down here a little more. Right, mainly though, I want to come from the top end and be able to get my card underneath that cable. And that's gonna be the difficult part for anyone to see you or the camera. Because what I'm doing is I wanna come in under here, like this, and be able to see the cable, which is a little tricky to do. But from here, if you came to this side, you'd be able to see what I'm, what I'm looking at here. And I'll show you the video afterwards. So I'm gonna go in underneath the display from right here. And from that point, I can start working down this direction. I could probably go like all the way in. As long as I don't hit this over here, I'm pretty safe. So this card can stay here. This card I can remove at this point. It's not a big deal. Mainly what I want to do is disconnect the actual display on the inside. So it's all just a matter of knowing where everything is located. Because at this point, I'll even shoot some of the heat down inside of the display like this. And then you'll just feel it kind of opening up. Just remember that you have to disconnect it. I don't know if you can see it from there. And you can see it has a certain amount of flexibility, like I said. But what we want to do also, at the same time, is start coming across to like right here, because we're going to have that L-shaped adhesive to work with on the bottom. So remember, we can go in about to, we can go into about the side of Benjamin Franklin's head, like right here, and then just slide it down. And I hope I didn't just nick that cable, because I got really close to it. And that's going to cut through all the way down to the bottom. And then over here, what we need to do is unplug the display, which is going to be tricky. So let's do this. There's just enough room to come in from the side 
underneath the display and miss that cable on the bottom. There's a small amount of adhesive here, but as long as you stay above that line, you should almost be able to go in from here. Oh, we need to get the connector unplugged. So I don't know if you can see that, but to get the, un the connector, we should come in from here. And let's see if I can actually see it from here, barely. Um, tweezers, uh, middle tweezers. Okay, I'll try with the middle tweezers very carefully. Go under here. And that is disconnected, so I don't know if you can see it, but it's now unplugged. And we'll hit it with some more heat. I'm going to be pissed if I nick that thing. Now at this point, we need to come onto this side and disconnect the cable because we're going to start pulling the screen through from this end. So let's keep some heat on here and you'll see now that it just kind of lifts away and the cable comes through. And if it sticks to those keys at the bottom, you might have to go in. You see how one set of these buttons is sticking right here? Sometimes you have to go in and pry that away, but this time it came off even enough. And there, I think, we got through without nicking the cable. So if that's the case, what we'll do is we'll go back and just plug this in, because it will suck if we wasted our time on this for nothing. So we'll put that in, insert the battery, and then hit the button. As long as my battery doesn't fall out, we should have got that out in one piece. So it's absolutely possible. It's just a matter of knowing where the cables are and what you're working around, taking your time. As you can see, we used some heat. What did it take, like 10 minutes, 15 minutes, 10 minutes? I should have timed it. <laughs> Actually, this will tell me. It's been 10 minutes and 53 seconds. And if we unlock this, now we should be okay. Let's get this stupid thing off. Ah, that's annoying. Okay, so now we've got all this functionality. Our AMOLED is good. And if you get to the point where you can do this, you can fix a customer's phone without breaking the screen. If you found the video helpful, like it, share it, check out my channel for more tutorials and product reviews, and most of all, remember to hit the subscribe button. Feel free to leave your feedback in the comments section, and thanks for watching.